So, this is Digital Sticks again, and welcome back. Uh, good news, the uh, streaming capability of VR Desktop is now available as a sideload APK. Uh, you can go to vrdesktop.net, and the instructions are there. If you look down for uh, Steam VR support, you'll see instructions there. You use uh, SideQuest. You're going to have to enable the developer mode. So we've lost the advantage of a nice, simple solution. But as you can see, like while I'm here on the roof of the home world, when we have VR, we don't get VR to stick in the box to go from the home world to the hub. We get VR so we can go explore and do things that we don't do on our average day, like jump up on the roof and look out across the fake world here. So uh anyways it's working just as good as ever um uh, and developer actually said he made uh, improvements to the uh, graphics actually uh, but once you have it side loaded uh you you can use it just as as it functioned before which is absolutely awesome um as i started this video i used um i used it to start my recording i didn't worry about tilting up my headset or anything like that, just a couple clicks and I was over on my computer desktop and I am wireless with the Quest. As I've demonstrated, that works absolutely fantastic when I played Steel and Gold. So um, I have PC VR and anyone who does not have PC VR but wants to play a PC VR game uh, regularly, you should, you're probably, you should probably get a PC VR um, and enjoy it you know if you have a pc if you have that option if your computer can run this uh it could run a pc vr if it barely runs this and you just put up with it for a game or two well that's that's one thing you know obviously that's not a bad idea if you can't run very many games well but there's one that you can but otherwise you have a better experience in mobile that's a good a good game plan for buying a quest so there's a lot of good uses for this and um Basically, Oculus, uh, they don't want your average person to just be able to casually do it, but through, uh, you know, through the side load ability, you can still do it. And this will introduce you to SideQuest. It introduced me to SideQuest since that was how it was recommended. I already knew how to side load with ADB and do that, but uh, SideQuest is a great app. It was a great discovery. Um, it's available through GitHub. If you're going to be in VR and you stand a chance of being an enthusiast, you want to become familiar with GitHub, with Discord, and uh, some other avenues because that's where the good stuff happens. It's the de developers, the people that are enthusiastic about VR that are making good things happen. Uh, Steam makes good things happen. They support uh, developers and support the innovation that goes on. You can do a lot of things with Steam. That's why I buy games on Steam. Even with CrossBuy, uh, I've bought a game on Steam because I can do what I want with it or there's an app that can do what I need to do with it. I, I actually exercise a weak eye using an app that an individual person made and made freely available. And I can, I can alter what each eye sees and I can get a additional le <coughs> level of exercise when i play beat saber i can work out my body and my eyes at the same time it's really awesome and it's powerful and if oculus had their way it wouldn't be available to me as an option but thanks to steam being out there so that's why you know this is a big deal but it's still possible you know the quest we can't deny that it's a cool device. It's really capable as a mobile device. It does not replace the PC VR, but it is good. And to have this option expands its value. <clears throat> now, I suppose Oculus can shut this down, but you know, they need to recognize that if they don't enable enthusiasts to be enthusiasts, enthusiasts are not gonna promote their products. I won't promote their product. If they just lock people in and all you can get is your mobile apps that are in the Quest store to run as they run, if it was Beat Saber with no songs and all these other things, if there was nothing you could do except for the careful stuff that Oculus finally decides to stamp, then it's, 
it would be very limited and extremely hard to recommend. I'm like, no, get you a PC VR and get into Steam VR and have some fun with VR. You know, so no, that's great. If they want to stick to careful and safe for their core audience that they're chasing after, which is people that know nothing about VR, then that's fine. Uh, you know, as long as these side side avenues remain available. But if if you like VR um, and this is something you want to do, then it's going to be great. It's going to get your feet wet on on doing other things. So you know, it's disappointing that there wasn't a really straightforward way for people to do it. But maybe that's what Oculus was most concerned about. I am actually streaming this from my PC, and I'm back on a 2.4 gigahertz connection because I borrowed my good router for something else. And um, so this is, I'm hardwired 2.4 gigahertz, and I'm doing uh, VR chat, comfortable experience, 72 frames a second here in the home world. So it's a very good app. The controls work well. Um, it's great. So I recommend it. Again, you can go to vrdesktop.net, which is the developer site, and he's got, if you look down for Steam VR streaming, you'll see some simple links to get to the information you need for installing the APK. Now, you still have to buy the VR Desktop app in the App Store. And if you have a problem with that, you just really should not be using electronics because uh, you're wanting everything free and nothing else. This app is worth it on its own. It's not like there were he went out and copied someone else's idea and started making streaming possible. He has built a very useful app that is almost an essential. For me, it was an essential for uh, Quest. I can't recommend it enough. And here it is. You're like ALVR is going to be a free solution. It's still got some issues. They're still working on it. It may reach the same level as this. That's great. But what it will never do is allow you to be two clicks away from your desktop, like VR desktop does. You're you're not just, you know, and if anyone has used an original Rift or now the Rift S and you're in the Oxus home on a uh, PC, you may have already discovered how convenient it is to be two clicks away from your desktop. Well, VR desktop is even more useful than that. And on the Quest, your resolution is higher than a Rift, uh, Rift CV1. So it's even more comfortable using the desktop. Um, so I'm not only two clicks away from my desktop on my gaming computer, I'm two clicks away from looking over at my school computer if I desire. When I click back to that app, I can connect to any computer I have that streamer on that's on my network. So, you know, if I like, oh, I need to see if such and such, I can I can actually check that email and I, it's you know it's great so I can't recommend it enough it's pretty simple to do it was super simple for me because I already had developer mode enabled already uh, actually that's the only thing that set me ahead I I had not been using SideQuest I installed SideQuest already had the developer mode enabled and connected to my PC and was done it was easy uh, it's the easiest thing you could possibly do it's only mine it's really Negligibly, negli can't talk. Negligibly harder than just being able to buy an app from the store and run with it. You got a you know few extra hoops. Not bad. You're not doing anything creative with your quest. Now, I will say for Oculus benefit, since they're scared, you're not. Gonna, it worked. It did not hurt my quest. But believe me, you know Oculus makes no guarantees that a side loaded app is gonna be problem free for you. So they are not responsible if something happens. I was your guinea pig, it worked for me, it's great. Uh, you know, use other apps on SideQuest at your own risk, but these are enthusiasts, they're not gonna have something sitting on SideQuest that is destroying Quest. If, so, if something goes terribly wrong, there might be a couple unlucky people that somehow become part of that, but we're talking, I don't even, you know, catastrophic brick your device risks are not the territory that SideQuest is getting into. Um, you know, that's people when they root cell phones, they take much deeper steps. You don't simply load an APK and, and run with a new operating system. You, you do not cross that line until you're intentionally crossing that line. So it's safe. It should be completely safe for your device. It's safe for your computer, uh, but nobody's responsible for it. So just be aware of that. But, uh, 
welcome to VR. If you're new to VR, and you're watching this, just welcome. You're going to enjoy it. Um, and just know that this is available to you. There's no reason to rush out and do it. If your PC can't handle VR, there's no need to rush out and do it for sure. Uh, but you just know you have options. So uh, if you have a chance to do an upgrade to your PC that would make it run VR, but just barely, well, you know, maybe you don't want to buy a PC VR headset for something that can barely run VR. Well, you can do this option and stream it and enjoy what you can get out of it. And I recommend this for apps that aren't available on the Quest in the capacity that you want. Like, for example, there is VR chat on the Quest. I can't stand here in front of this stream camera and record this to you on VR chat for the Quest. It is not a full version of the game. It is what it is. It's okay for what it is, but it is not the full version that's available to PC. That's a big deal at times. And, uh, <coughs> So it's absolutely great that somebody that can run VR chat on PC to some extent has an option if they get a quest. That makes a quest that much better for them. It adds value to it. And, you know, that's what motivates me to share these things. And that's why I'm excited about this feature. And thank goodness I had technical difficulties or I would be deleting a bunch of videos about rants when they first decline the feature. It was extremely frustrating, um, but the developer of virtual desktop has eased that frustration by through his own, own hard effort. And now I see the brighter side of things and that's perfectly fine. If, if they truly are just playing it safe, but they're still leaving available, the options available for enthusiasts, I can live with that. And uh, honestly, um, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. So, uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this uh, virtual desktop. I'm not going to go on a tour today. Uh, obviously, I've jumped back in for uh, stealing gold. Um, here's my door. See, this is great. I can go to any room in my house with a good stable connection to this uh, Wi Fi router, set up a play space, and still use VR. And I have to admit, uh, basically, ever since playing the stealing gold, and realizing after the fact that that game was great, like like I felt like it wasn't just as good as it was on PC, but it was better. Um, I think it gave me a greater appreciation for being wireless in VR chat. <laughs> and this is this is wireless in VR chat on PC. This is not trading everything that I like about the game to do it. This is PC uh, with this camera running. I get a little bit of jitter with the camera um the rest of the world is fine my frame rate stays good and uh, it's just something with the camera so uh, i don't know what that is if it's you know what that with the camera running oh okay there we go it's because this camera is tracked same way the hands are tracked i guess looks like i have uh, a little bit of a jitter that I don't really notice with my hands, so that may be on par with what's happening with the camera. Where I, my hands are in motion, but the camera is supposed to be still. So that might even be a quest issue. Uh, there is some uh, input latency that really there's no uh, developer workaround for. So you know it's not perfect, but again, this is with this camera going, uh, but. If you watch my Steel and Gold video, you'll see it. it. It plays great. You see my hands here. Yeah, when I turn, I get a little bit of a stutter, but uh, it's preferable to not having an option to play what I want to play. This I can do this. I, I can't emphasize that enough. This is perfectly doable and acceptable. And uh, whoop. okay, so now. Um, But again, um, it's not safe, you know, because you could just like fall down and get hurt by jumping off your home world. It didn't even let me fall. Do I have some kind of comfort settings on? I tried to fall and I could not fall. And I don't know why. It's, how is this? <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. Okay. Um,
There we go. Alright. And now we fall again. There we go. Uh, see? The rules were meant to be broken in VR. Not meant to be all careful and safe and afraid to do stuff. You just respawn, reset, and jump again. And then, you know, you got your rails to keep the scared people safe, but then the rest of us can come out here and look over the edge. You see that it's a long way down. And then we can jump. And that's how we do it. So, anyways, this is Digital Sticks, and I appreciate you watching the channel. Uh, I'm working on doing some things with my son and some... Uh, gaming and and some things around the house uh, if i get technology to cooperate of course i have to balance technological issues with us actually having some fun so there'll be some content like that coming as well as maybe some more stuff with vr of course uh, so please like this video to show your support and please subscribe and keep abreast of that and so i'm digital sticks and he's not agreeing with it but i think matthew should be called Digi twig. <laughs> so, uh, uh, see, he's rejecting it even now. Even listening to me and passing, what's wrong with Digi twig, son? He doesn't like it. So, no. Right. Well, then you're still going to have to probably put up with me tossing it in once in a while because I'm proud of my creativity. So you have to put up with that. It's like, oh, my dad. Ah. So that's what you do. Because he's Matthew, Matthew. Well, I'll probably mix it up, but uh, at least throw in a casual ditchy twig once in a while, right? No. No? Okay. Whoops. All right. Well, I didn't mean to jump into here. All right, well, we're out with that. Please uh, click like and subscribe, and that's a, that's a wrap. It sounds like he's ready to go uh, swimming and bike riding, so we're going to look into that adventure next. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Matthew, is that necessary?